Tate got wrecked. <laughs> Greta does not write her tweet. Probably not. Andre Tate Greta Thunberg. I'm obviously a stranger to online controversy. It's not something I often do. But now, the mainstream press is commenting on the fact that I was informing Greta that my very extensive car collection with internal combustion engines, which run on dead dinosaurs, have an enormous emission profile. And she replied by telling me her own email address. Greta's email address is, I have small dick energy. Why would that be your own email address, Greta? Strange. I mean, also I don't want to assume her gender. It's 50-50, but it is what it is. I'm not actually mad at Greta. Please bring me pizza and uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. <laughs> okay. So I'm not actually mad at Greta, right? Because she doesn't realize she's been programmed. She doesn't realize she's a slave of the matrix. She thinks she's doing good. Someone has sat her down and convinced her to try and convince you to beg your government. What he's saying here is a big W. He's saying it correct. Even though to tax you into poverty a... to stop the sun from being hot. And then, because I called her out on it, the global matrix got this bot farm to like and retweet and all this bot commenting to try and pretend that her telling me that she has a small dick in her own email address somehow teaches me a lesson. Welcome to a new episode of The Clown Show. But now... He is so correct. Welcome to a new episode of the clown show. It's all a clown show. At least he's uh, he's saying it like it is. It's a fucking clown show. Now I know at least that Greta, with a little hate-filled face, bitter, sitting somewhere without the heating on, in the cold, a little hot and shivering, <laughs> use my tweets. Which is going to make my Twitter account far more fun into a turn. You, you, you have to, like, what all of Andrew Tate haters doesn't understand is that he is a fucking internet troll. Why can no one understand that he is a internet troll? He's just making memes and making fun. Like, you, you obviously, he's saying a lot of stupid shit, 100%. But it's just fucking memes. Stop taking this seriously and stop taking this seriously as well. He's a real life troll. He's just making fun. And the more people are getting mad, the more he just trolls. How does no one get that? There's people that idolize him. Who the fuck cares? It's entertainment. People idolize Hassan Abi as well. It's just a fucking clown show of politics and dumb shit. Take, you need to be smarter than this. Says the, says the baldy who gets mad at trolls every day. For entertainment. It's all for entertainment. That's how you should look at it. And that's what it is. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a W16 8 liter quad turbo. My two Ferrari 812 conference has 6.5 liter V12s. This is just the start. This is the first time I ever seen him with a Bugatti. Rented. This is just a troll knut. This stupid fucking Norwegian politics removing. Yes, it is just trolling and entertainment. That's how 100% how you should see it. It can always be some truth in trolling and entertainment. One hour rental. That would still be more expensive than, ever, than I could pay for a full year of uh, income from Twitch. I'm not saying it's just a character. But what you should see it as when you uh, watch it on the internet is entertainment. It doesn't matter if he means everything he says or not. But you should still see it as entertainment. Tristan Tate is a giga shit. I don't even know. I've never heard about him. I don't know who that is. You would probably crash the car if you tried to shifting uh, into second gear. I, I think I've already opened it. No, I haven't. Do you think it's hard to drive a car like this? Absolutely not. These cars aren't hard to drive. You can drive slow with them as well. They're simple. They're, it's 
higher chance that you will crash your Toyota Camry than crashing in this car. This car is simple to drive. The new supercars aren't hard to drive. It's not a F1 car. He has influence to a large audience, and many of his trolling ideas are not for the growing children unless we want a TikTok generation as our future. Of course not, but we have to teach our kids that they shouldn't grow up and think that this is reality. Same with this. This isn't reality. It the same applies to all of them. This is internet entertainment, TikTok entertainment, all of them. I find Tate entertaining as entertainment as I do watching uh, paint dry. Same. That's why I usually don't watch him at all. And you shouldn't either if you don't enjoy the entertainment. But I find this a little bit funny. I still find this a little bit funny. But this... this who, who said he got owned here? Is there anyone that thought that this was owning him on the internet? Then, then it is pretty simple today. Yes, me. Reddit did. I would say it's the same level as writing this one. Swedish media. It's a pretty funny response. She kind of owned herself, to be honest. It's all fucking crap and bullshit. That's what it is. Teaches, uh, Andrew Tate is teaching traditional masculinity, that's all. Yeah, he has some stupid takes. Let's be real. Some of his takes might be okay, right? You should probably work on yourself. That's fine. But then he goes into some some dark corners where uh, it's just fucking bullshit. So does Greta? Yes. That's it. See, as I say, see it as entertainment.